Well, it felt like summer out there today, and we are done with the gorgeous weather just yet. Here's Kate and with a look at what's in store for the weekend. What and you got? Yuki, you said your car thermometer said 83 today. It did. And that was our official high for today. Was it really? So you don't even need me anymore. Just go by the Yugo. Yeah, but the Yugo, I'm running out of duct tape to put on the side <laughs> of the front door to hold that thermometer That's on. That's a problem. That's a problem. <laughs> That's a problem. All right. Well, I guess you'll keep me around for now. <laughs> yes, we will. Let's talk about what it looks like outside because it is gorgeous. I was just out there on the Sky deck. You can start to feel, though, some cooler air picking up. The breeze feels like a cooler breeze than it did earlier today. Cooler air coming in behind the cold front that really is responsible for all this wind, but also a brief surge into the 80s today. Center City looking good. Certainly a little cooler now. It's 75 degrees, fallen off our high of 83 just a couple of hours ago. Winds have died down slightly. We were at 45 miles per hour two hours ago. Now we're down to 37 miles per hour. Still very windy, but not quite as bad. Feels like 75, the dew point 43. No problems out there. Certainly no, no real wind chill because it is. It has been a relatively warm breeze for most of the day. 75 in Philly. It's 73 in Trenton. We're down to 66 in Allentown. That has fallen from the high of 77. So you can really start to see that cooler air filtering in. We often hit our daytime high toward sundown, toward 5, 6 o'clock. But today we hit it a little bit early, and now temperatures are dropping. Wind still gusting over 40 miles an hour in spots. Not as bad as it was, but it is still a blustery evening outside. So keep that in mind if you're planning on sitting outside and enjoying a dinner al fresco this evening. Make sure maybe you put your glass on top of the napkins, or else they'll be blowing right off the patio here tonight. Storm scan 3, again, showing the system that came through, dragged a cold front, relatively dry across the region, and nothing going on out there right now now, and that'll be the case for the first half of the weekend. Tonight, mainly clear, breezy, but comfortable. Winds gusting to about 30 miles an hour. Tomorrow, 69 with sunny skies, warm, lower humidity, just a fantastic Saturday. It's cooler than today, 14 degrees cooler than today, still above average, still pure perfection to sit outside and enjoy the sun. And even more so because Sunday is not quite so nice. Now, tomorrow, late afternoon into the evening, a few more clouds may start to roll in out ahead of our next system Sunday, but it's really throughout the day Sunday, 7.15 a.m., scattered showers. That'll continue through about noon. There may be a few late afternoon breaks in the cloud cover, but then the cold front slides through, and that'll be right around the dinner hour. This is our best chance to pick up a rumble of thunder. Then it is cooler and windy on Monday. So warm and sticky Sunday, an afternoon cold front brings the chance for thunderstorms, but even though it provides the needed lift for storms to form, we will have those scattered showers around in the morning, and that will stabilize the atmosphere a little bit. So that's going to limit the chance for any strong thunderstorms. That said, if we get any breaks of sun midday Sunday in that warm sector, we will have the fuel needed for thunderstorms to fire up. So a great start to the weekend, near 70 tomorrow with a good deal of sunshine. Set Sunday starts with showers, then isolated thunder shower in the afternoon or evening. Cooler and windy Monday. Tuesday's nice, but showers return Wednesday into Thursday, and this is going to end with a blast of even colder air Thursday night into Friday. We may even see a few snowflakes on the back edge of that cold front on Thursday, Yuki, mm -hmm. so a huge difference after today's record highs. I'm just focused on tomorrow right now. That's yes, all you indeed. need to do. Right. Perfect. <laughs> Thanks, Kate. Appreciate it.